is brought to you by Carriage Crossing Senior Living. Well, creating safe and healthy environments for kids to grow up in is a top priority for one local organization. Jill Duden with Prevent Child Abuse Illinois joins us with how you can get involved. Jill, welcome. We're glad you're here. Thanks for having me. Let's talk a little bit about Prevent Child Abuse Illinois and this organization and its mission. Yeah, so we are actually a statewide nonprofit. Uh, pretty small, but pretty mighty, I would like to think. Uh, we're based out of Springfield, but there are several prevention specialists located throughout the state. Um, we have a couple in Southern Illinois, a couple up in the Chicago area, and I serve the central region. Um, mostly work from home, do a lot of collaboration, um, a lot of advocacy, um, just a lot of trainings is a huge focus for us for different organizations, volunteer groups, uh, teachers, um, just really anything we can do to get the word out about preventing abuse um, and neglect in the state. And this is specifically the month to do it. It's um, a Child Abuse Prevention Month. Let's talk numbers. Um, I, these are sad just reading through some of them, but tell us about Yeah, it. it's always tough to talk about statistics um, because I think sometimes people tend to glaze over a little bit, yeah. but I think it is important to bring some awareness to um, the statistics in Illinois and specifically within our region. So in 2020, uh, Illinois saw over 35,000 child abuse victims um, statewide and this abuse can be physical it can be sexual abuse or emotional abuse um, and of those just in our county we had um, documented 426 and that's just um, documented yeah exactly yeah, right. and we think those numbers are really low because there's a lot of abuse that goes unreported um, in 2021 so our central region which is sort of uh, the central sort of chunk of the state saw over 1,000 child victims um, and 62 deaths mm -hmm. um, of children specifically as a result of abuse or neglect. Um, in addition, our central region of the state had more substance exposed infants than any other region in the state of Illinois. When you say substance exposed, what does that mean? That means uh, babies who were born um, addicted to mm -hmm. some kind of substance. Um, so having to go through that withdrawal process. And so our specific region saw more of those infants than any other region in the state. And wow. you mentioned that you thought 400 was a low number what causes things to go unreported well I think um, you know sometimes people just really aren't aware um, is this is this bad enough mm -hmm. to call um, people don't want to overstep um, people don't want you know people might want to be anonymous when they report and they're worried that that you know that that might not happen um, people and tend plus, to want to look the other way right and plus with 2020 being a pandemic right. year when teachers weren't having their their babies in their classrooms they, they have to be one of the main reporters I would think we saw a big dip in the number of reports during mm -hmm. the pandemic and that was because children weren't exposed to a lot of adults that um, would, would usually protect them yeah. and so we're seeing kind of a spike after that yeah okay we're about out of time yes we got to talk how to reverse these yes absolutely so today I want to talk to some parents out there of young children um, and and we just really want to focus on some prevention efforts that these parents can do uh, we know parenting is hard and preventing abuse is really all about keeping children safe safe in their homes schools and communities and we know also if a child is going through trauma or experiences abuse and neglect it can affect them over a lifetime so just some simple tips parents can do um, starting at the very beginning safe sleep is so important kind of the ABC's of that so a stands for sleeping alone right B is on their backs and C they need to be in a crib so safe sleep is critical um, shaking babies um, is never okay it's never allowed um, as parents of young children it's important to learn about the dangers um, one of the most important things that parents need to know is it's so hard what they're doing uh, they need to ask for help when they're feeling overwhelmed and stressed um, we're lucky in our community we have um, a crisis nursery for example and they can reach out uh, when they're feeling overwhelmed and need a break or need a safe space um, kind of related to that parents need to establish a support system um, you know friends family neighbors that they trust um, for during those times when they're feeling overwhelmed or need a break or, or need someone to talk through a situation with. Um, it's important to always only leave your children with safe, trusted adults, people that you know are safe. 
um, and, and really just establishing that loving relationship at home, being nurturing with their babies, that can go a very long way. We know parenting is the hardest job that there is, um, but just showing ch children every day um, that they're important, telling them that they love them, spending quality time with them. It sounds very simple, it sounds very cliche, but it absolutely works. Yeah. Um, okay. So our website, preventchildabuseillinois.org, lots more parenting tips, uh, free trainings for the community too. And you'll be back here in a couple weeks with, yes. with some more um, information yep. for us. You got it. All right, well, it breaks my heart to even think about mm -hmm. anyone not loving on their babies, and yeah. but you know, parenting is hard. You're right. Mm -hmm. so, all right, all of these tips will be at CILiving.tv. Jill, thank you so much. You're